Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors, and today I want to talk about wheels, wheel vibration, car vibrations. Remember that there are only five things moving when you're running down the road, and those five things are the source of all vibration in the car. Four wheels, one drive shaft. Okay, the difference between the car sitting still and the car doing 60 miles an hour, only those five things. So the question is, what's, what's making the vibration? Now I've got a lot of people who call me and say, I've taken my wheels 15 times to the computer balancer and they've computer balanced them and the car still shakes. Well, let's find out why. The rubber bushings, the shock absorbers, those sorts of things are designed to absorb a certain amount of wheel vibration, right? But sometimes there's too much vibration to absorb. Sometimes the rubber bushings are kind of shot or the shocks are kind of shot. So I've got five wheels up here right now, a TD behind me, a TD next to me, and an MGA, and we're just going to spin the wheels. We're going to talk about them. So let's take a look here. We've got uh, the left front wheel here on, on this t TD. We're going to spin it, and Trevor hopefully is going to hold it still. And you can see that this thing's got a little bit of a kick to it, just a little bit of, of, of a kick. And if I put my hand on the outside of it, it feels smooth. I don't feel any lumps or ripples or scalloping, but the fact that the wheel, the wheel moves back and forth means that there's no amount of weight that you can put on there to get rid of the vibration. Now we're going to take a look at the next wheel. Now this wheel, you can see it's been running towed in for a long time because the, the tread is, is all worn off on the side. But let's take, take a look at that guy. Holy Toledo! Look at that thing shake. There's no way you can put two pounds of weight on this and you'll never smooth it out, right? So the, there's no substitute to looking at your own tires and feeling them. Let's go over and look at this other TD. Now this thing's got Dunlop Gold Q tires. These are, these are uh, uh, nylon 56015 bias plies. Let's take a look at this one. See, see the lump in this? This is horrible. Now this is a nylon tire, so when the car sits for a long time, the wheel, the tires themselves can take a set, which sometimes after you drive them for a while you can get rid of. But this is, uh, this is abominable. This car is going to shake horribly out on the road. Let's see what his right front tire is like. Now here we are at the right front tire. Let's get this guy going. Oh my gosh. Now he's got a, a colored spot on him, so that, that's a, a little deceptive. You can see it shake as it co comes around. It's, uh, it's, um, it's awful. And these are four um, disc wheels. Now let's try a wire wheel, which are supposed to be the worst of these. All right, now let's get this guy going around. And you can see this thing's got a little bit of a kick to him, just a little bit of a kick. So all five of these tires, now I don't know, we got another 30 cars here in the shop, and I guess that makes... Uh, 30 times 4 is 120 tires. The point is that all the rims are bent now to some degree or another. No rim's perfect to start off with. So before you admonish your tire balancer or get mad about your tires, make sure that your rims are straight. The problem with the steel rims is there are very few places that can straighten a, uh, a disc wheel. And wire wheels, uh, you can you take a spoke wrench and you can tighten all you want, but there's not much you can do to get them straight. Wire wheels are easy. You just buy new ones or buy those uh, uh, mini light tires, wheels. Anyway, the point is that if you have a bent, a bent rim, a flat tire, a flat spot on the tire, there's no way that you can get rid of vibration in your car. Now, if all four rims are straight, they look nice, you spin them yourself, but there's still a vibration in your car, like in the rear view mirror, it's all jiggly, then go for the drive shaft. If you feel the drive shaft, if there's any pinch or, or detent in the drive shaft at all, it's bad. You know, that thing's traveling at engine speed, 3,500 RPM, and it's that long, you know? If there's a dent in it, it'll cause a hell of a vibration. So you can buy a new drive shaft, get a new drive shaft made pretty inexpensively. You can make your car smooth, but it takes wheels, tires, and the drive shaft. See you guys in Waco.